lurking in the vastness of space. Are planets so strange that even science fiction could not have imagined them? For the first time ever, scientists are discovering alien worlds beyond our solar system, places where ice is hot and rain is made of iron. They are uncharted, unearthly, and unpredictable. And somewhere, hidden among these strange new worlds, scientists seek the greatest discoveries of all. March the 6th, 2009. This Delta II rocket is going through its final pre-flight check. It is the start of an extraordinarily ambitious mission. The Kepler Space Observatory is hunting for Earth-like planets within a region of 100,000 stars. It is the culmination of a journey that began more than a decade ago, with one of the most profound scientific discoveries ever made. In 1995, Swiss astronomer Michel Mayor and his team make a routine observation of stars in the constellation Pegasus, located 50 light years away. But the instruments show something strange. One star is violently lurching and wobbling. What we discovered, it's one of these stars have a velocity changing with time. What is powerful enough to disturb a star the size of our sun? Mayor offers a radical answer, a planet. But no one has ever seen a planet around another sun-like star. The problem in detecting planets around other stars is that as a planet orbits a nearby star, that planet gets lost because of its feeble light in the glare of the very bright star. In spite of the odds, Mayor relies on his data and is convinced the wobbles are caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. When I read this claim from Michel Mayor, I was very skeptical. There had been many false claims of the first planet ever discovered around another star and I thought to myself, oh boy, here we go again. So I decided to observe the star on four consecutive nights. And stunningly, the star was shown to wobble exactly as Michel Mayor had said. Michel Mayor and his teammate Didier Coelho announced their discovery. It rocks the scientific community. They had found for the first time reproducible, confirmable evidence of the existence of a planet around a sun-like star. Officially called 51 Pegasi B, the planet is nicknamed Bellerophon in honor of the Greek hero who tamed the winged horse Pegasus. It is a planet that breaks all the rules. Bellerophon roasts in the blazing starlight at temperatures of roughly 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 1,000 degrees Celsius. It is nearly 150 times more massive than Earth and is a gas giant like Jupiter. A gas giant is a planet made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Only the outer layers are gas, but inside, hydrogen and helium is compressed to huge, huge, huge pressures. It doesn't resemble a gas at all. 
Unlike anything found in our solar system, this is an entirely new class of planet, what scientists call a hot Jupiter. If you go to Hawaii and see the lava flow there, that's how hot a hot Jupiter is. It's very, very hot. The Earth is a comfortable 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers away from the sun. These hot Jupiters are roughly 100 times closer, and so the amount of sunlight that they get is 10,000 times larger. If this represents a star, and this a hot Jupiter, a hot Jupiter is three to four stellar diameters away from the star. So that would be one, two, three. This is how close a hot Jupiter would be to its star. Hot Jupiters are tidally locked. They present the same face to the star at all times, just like the moon does to Earth. It's going to be permanent daylight on one side and permanent nighttime on the back. If I were stuck on a hot Jupiter, I'd want to be on the back side and hope that some of the heat from the front side facing the star would make its way around the back. The variations in temperature make Bellerophon's atmosphere extremely windy. As the air is cooked by the star, it rises. Cooler air rushes downward to replace it, just as it does on Earth. The wind howls at thousands of kilometers per hour, far beyond anything we could ever withstand. The heat blast guarantees water vapor cannot exist, but that doesn't mean there is no rain. It's far too hot for water liquid clouds to form here, but instead these clouds would be made out of iron. Iron vapor can exist at much higher temperatures than water. And because of that, things could get a little messy. You better have an umbrella that's pretty sturdy because the iron is going to start coating your umbrella very rapidly and making it extremely heavy and just crush that umbrella. The sky overhead is filled with dancing curtains of color. Charged particles from the nearby star make auroras far more extreme than the northern lights on Earth. There is something else unique about this newly discovered world. Bellerophon orbits its sun in a blistering 4.2 days. No self-respecting planet goes around a star in 4.2 days. None of the planets in our solar system take such a short amount of time. For scientists, the tiny orbit challenges long-held notions of how planets form. The fact that the planet was orbiting every four days was a total puzzle until one night in the middle of the night I woke up and said, well, this must be proof that planets migrate inwards. They don't stay put where they are. The key to the puzzle is found in how planets are made. Planets are a byproduct of star formation. When stars form, they have a disk of dust and debris around them, and out of that debris, planets form. Much of what we know comes from the Hubble Space Telescope, as it aims at regions like the Eagle Nebula. This interstellar cloud is studded with collapsing disks of dust and gas. A giant clump grows in the center of each disk. Temperatures reach a searing 10 million degrees Celsius. The same nuclear fusion that powers our sun is unleashed. The star is born. Radiation from the star generates a stellar wind that sweeps away leftover dust and debris. Some of the dust survives and remains in orbit around the newborn star. 
Over millions of years, the dust sticks together, forming knots that grow into asteroids. And the asteroids grow into planets. These planets migrate through the disk until they find a stable orbit. This is why Bellerophon is so close to its parent star. But one newly discovered